What's up guys, it's your boy Evil Platypus and today I am bringing you a video that I've been wanting to bring you guys for a very long time. A series that I've wanted to have on this channel for so long and I never knew how to do it until OBS. I have OBS on my laptop now so any stream that I do will be a lot better. Any video I do well, I'm not sure about the videos. I don't know how to add special effects to actual videos yet. I will figure that out. Eventually, my videos will be amazing. We're going to go. We're going to skip you. And Can you please? Thank you. I'm just going to skip to the next page so that we don't have to worry about that loading in and out. I have OBS now, and it's going to make this channel so... Oh, my God. I kind of do have to erase some of this. What's up guys? It's your boy, Evil Platypus. I am... If you guys don't want to hear the beginning, if you guys know all about Pokemon and Nuzlocke and all of that stuff, then I'm going to have a timestamp in the description so that you guys can skip to where the actual talking, this hello there, begins. So if you guys don't want to hear me rattle on about Pokemon, the future of my channel, Nuzlocke, randomizers, all of that jazz, then right now, go in the description. Find out where the um, video actually starts, and I will see you guys there in a second. For those of you who aren't familiar with Pokemon or Nuzlocke or any of that, Pokemon, most of you should know Pokemon. You get a team of six. You can get any Pokemon you want, any creature that you desire, no matter how late into the game it is, no matter how many other Pokemon you've seen, you can get whatever you want and raise it into your team. You raise them up, you evolve them, you take on gyms and collect badges, and then you beat the Elite Four and do whatever post-game stuff that you want to do. Now, the difference between Pokemon Normal and a Nuzlocke is that with Nuzlocke's, you can only pick, capture the very first Pokemon that you see on each route. If the Pokemon runs away, if you run away from the battle because like one of your Pokemon is about to die and you don't really care about the Pokemon you see... Or, if you accidentally drain the Pokemon's health down to zero, the Pokemon can't be caught, and no other Pokemon's pass that can. You can only catch the first Pokemon on that route. But we will get into one reason why that won't be true in a second. There is one clause. And the other main rule is that if one of your Pokemon faints, if it drops down to zero health, you have to either release it or put it into a custom PC slot labeled DEAD. And that's the thing, like, once you run out of Pokemon completely, you lose, you can't go into a route and catch a new Pokemon because all of the Pokemon you currently have are dead. Um, there's a few stipulations and clauses that you can add on to that. You have to nickname every Pokemon that you get to, like, form a tighter bond with them so that when they do die, it's that much more heart-wrenching. You have to... You can only use the Poke Center one time in each town. Although I do the clause where if I skip the previous town and I never used it, and then the next town I need it, I can use it, and then I can use that one again instead of traveling all the way back. They kind of stack on top of each other if you don't use that one when you're in that town. Um, the dupe clause where if I was to... In the normal Pokemon game, on the first route in this game, you can catch a Bidoof or a Starly. And then in the next route, you can again catch a Bidoof or a Starly. If you were to catch that Bidoof, and then in the next route, the first Pokemon you see is a Bidoof again, then you're allowed to say, no, I don't want to capture it this time, and you're allowed a second chance. If you get that Pokemon again, then you're out of luck, and you have to capture it, or just let it go away. But if you kept to see a different Pokemon, then, well, congrats. You gambled and you got lucky. Um, there's also... Damn, there was a few other things that I wanted to add in that I can't actually at the moment remember. I will figure it out later and I will... It won't matter in this actual episode because none of it actually... Ah, here's the other thing. I, was, I actually remembered it. Wow. The actual Nuzlocke does not begin until... Whoever gives you those 10 free Pokeballs hands them to you. In the first Pokemon game, the professor's assistant does. In this game, 
not your second rival gives you them after showing you how to catch Pokemon. So if I run into a Pokemon before I have Pokeballs, I can skip over it, and then later on, I, when I finally get some Pokeballs, and I run into a Pokemon, that's my first Pokemon encounter for that route. And right at the very beginning when you actually get your Pokemon, your rival will actually fight you, and if you actually die, that one time, that one faint doesn't count, and you can keep going until you get the Pokeballs. As soon as you get the Pokeballs, that's when the official rules begin. And then beyond that, I also have a randomizer on, so instead of seeing that Bidoof and Starly at the beginning, I could actually see either the worst Pokemon in all of Pokemon, like Ditto or Magikarp, or I could get a Legendary. It completely mixes up whatever Pokemon you see, and it's absolutely amazing. I absolutely love doing this. I am sorry that I had my mouse down here and that was popped up. That was probably annoying a lot of you. I didn't notice it. Now then. For those of you who clicked the timestamp, you are now hearing me say this for the first time, and we are getting right in to this video. One more thing before I actually do begin, I am not good with voices, so a lot of characters are going to have similar, if not the same voice. I'm going to try to mix it up, but because I, I'm terrible with like making my voice sound differently, random townspeople aren't going to have any different voice, they're going to sound like me. Barry, my rival, my second rival, the professor, my mom, the big leaders of the gang, gangs, they're going to have distinct voices, but again, I'm not great, so they might sound similar, even though it sounds different in my head. Now then, hello there. It's so very nice to meet you. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Rowan. However, everyone just calls me the Pokemon Professor. Before I go any further, is this your first adventure? If you need advice, I'm certainly capable of giving it. I, um, I've logged in thousands beyond thousands beyond thousands of hours of Pokemon, so all of this info right here, I don't need. I accidentally clicked that, so I'm going to say yes, and then I'm going to go down, and I'm going to hit no info needed. I didn't mean to hit that. I accidentally hit the X button. <laughs> this world is widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. Here, I have a Pokeball. Touch the button in the middle of the Pokeball, if you please. Now, a lot of people, like, um, Purple Rodri, and there's a few others, like, I think Merlin does it. I've seen a lot of people make it so that this Pokemon right here can be randomized. I saw him not have this little cute adorable bunny, like he usually does, but he had an Electabuzz, and I was like, oh, I wonder what Pokemon is going to be for me, but I couldn't find the setting. To change up his, only the um, catch tutorial Pokemon, unfortunately. At times we play, this is what we call a Pokemon. At times we play together, and at other times we work together. Some people use a Pokemon to battle and develop closer bonds with them. What do I do? I conduct research so that we may learn more about Pokemon. Now, why don't you tell me a little bit about yourself? Are you a boy or are you a girl? Now, if I know how gender and sex work better than every feminist out there, I am confident that I'm a boy. Alright, so you're a boy. Yeah, yeah, uh, I'm, I'm a boy. Tell me, what is your name? Now, I actually tried to do a live stream of this game last night, but the stream just canceled for whatever reason, and until I figure out how to fix the streams. Pokemon was originally going to be a stream that from Twitch that I would transfer over to YouTube, and now it's just going to be its own series. It's not going to be a stream. Maybe the very last episode I'll make a stream, but for now, this is going to be a random YouTube series. And at first, I was going to just name my character Platt, but this one person in the live stream suggested something, and by that point, I had already clicked OK, and I didn't want to have to enter the name again. So I'm just going to name myself Platty. Thank you for suggesting that, Nubula. That is amazing of you. I like that a lot better than just Platt. It sounds a little better. Was up the tongue nicer. Thank you. So yes, my name is Platty. A fine name that is. Now this boy here, I believe he's your friend. What might his name be? And when I was in the stream, I asked the stream. There was two people at the time. One of them actually just left before I said it. And the other person asked if I could do it after him. So this character is going to be named after the person who asked me that. And it's going to be named 
Noob TDP, which stands for the Dwarven People. His name fit in there perfectly, and I am happy to do that. That's your friend's name? Yes, it is. He's kind of a bastard. I, I never really liked him. Don't tell him I said that, but... Oh. Right, he's gonna see this, and then he's gonna realize that I caught him a bastard. Fuck. Hmm. Hi, noob. You didn't hear that. That is not the name you heard me say. Alright, Platy, the time has come. Your very own tale of grand adventure is about to unfold. On your journey, you will meet countless Pokemon and people. I'm sure that along the way, you will discover many things, perhaps even something about yourself. Now go on. Leap into the world of Pokemon. End credits. <laughs> I am actually really excited that this is finally going to be on my channel. I absolutely love Pokemon. It is a big part of my childhood growing up. Pokemon or Biocide always. I hope you understand the meaning of those words. There was a comment left by Professor Rowan who was, has returned to Sinnoh from the Kanto region. That concludes our special program. Let's ask Professor Rowan. Brought to you by Jubilife TV on Nationwide Net. See you next week. Same time, same channel. We're going to go this way and noob, like the bastard he is, is going to just rush into my room without warning me. I mean, dude, what if I was doing something? I mean, you don't know what I would be doing in here. I could have been making popsicle up. Come on now. That is highly inappropriate of you to barge in on my me time. Popsicle what? Why did I think Popsicle on? Why was that the first thing that came to my mind? <laughs> it's better than some things I could have said. Hey, Blade, did you see the TV? Sure you did. As many people do with this guy, they make him a very fast, hyperactive talker. So, let's make him a very fast, hyperactive talker. Professor Wong is a really important guy who studies Pokemon, right? That means he must have lots and lots of Pokemon. So if we ask him, I bet he give us some Pokemon. Oh, hey, is this a new PC? Uh, where was I? Right, right! We're going to see Professor Woman get some Pokemon! I'll be waiting outside, it's a $10 million fine if you're late, okay, Platy? That's the best I can do. Okay, now... I don't really think there's any need for me to go over and click on everything in this room because you guys have seen that, you guys don't want to see some random person on his first playthrough do that as well, so I'm just gonna... Close my settings, fix them to what I want them to be, and now we're going to carry on our way. Now, the tab button on Desmume, if you hit it, it speeds up whatever game you're on. I actually have that disabled, so if I was to hit that, it won't actually do anything, because I don't want to accidentally hit that and make the video go by any faster. I want this to be as many episodes to the series as I possibly can. Platy, Noob TDP already left. I don't know what it was about, but he sure was in a hurry. Ah, oh, thank you for informing me, Mother. I, um, I was wondering where he went. I thought he was just running so fast that he disappeared in my room. I thought he was still up there. You know how impatient new TDP is. He took off before I could even ask what it was about. Oh, yes, Platy. Don't go into the tall grass. Fire Pokemon might attack you. It, it would be okay if you had your own Pokemon, but you don't, so... Well, take care, sweetie. Thank you, Mom. Bye-bye, Platy. You take care now. Thank you for letting me leave the house to guard into a world of monsters that can surely rip me apart if they choose to. Do you live Making a video. I'll be done in ten minutes. Yes, sir. What was that about? Oh, hey, Platy. Hey, I'm going to go see Professor Wong. You should come too, and quickly. Oh, jeez, I forgot something. Yeah, I, I know this, the beginning, pretty well. I Like I said, I have many, many, many thousands of hours logged into Pokemon. This is the one I've played the most. I know the beginning lines fairly well. <sighs> oh, hi, Platy. Are you looking for new TDP? He was gone for a second, but then he came running right back home. He just can't sit still, that boy. I wonder who he takes after. Probably his dad. Most likely. I better take my bag and journal, too. Oh, hey, Platy. I'll be waiting on the one. It's a $10 million fine if you're late. Yes, I was, um... You told me that the first time. So, his room is basically the same as mine. Maybe a different floor style. Maybe a different rug. 
but it's pretty much completely flip flop. That's really the only real difference. But I, the one thing I've never understood is, where's his sign that tells him to press the X button to open up the menu? I mean, without that, how will he know how to open that and switch his Pokemon and look into his bag and stuff? I don't know, that's just so bizarre. I mean, it's one of the mysteries of Pokemon. He won't tell, will never know how he knows to call out different Pokemon. Ah, uh, whatever. I, this, this just feels right. I, I know I said it already, but I wanted to do this for so long, and now that I finally can, it just feels like something I should, I, I should be doing. I hope you guys are enjoying this episode. I hope I'm, I'm probably not bringing anything new because this, again, this is the very first episode. There's really nothing that I can do that every other Pokemon YouTuber hasn't done already. So, the most I can do is just try to make it as enjoyable as I can. Alright, let's get moving to Professor Warren's lab. Hmm? What? Don't go into the tall grass, right? No worries, no problem. It doesn't matter that we don't have any Pokemon. Trust me on this one. I've got an idea. Famous last words. Now listen, you know how wide Pokemon jump out of you when you go into tall grass? So what you do is, you scoot over to the next patch of grass before any wild Pokemon can appear. If you just keep dashing, we can get to sand in town without running into any Pokemon. Okay, stick with me. He okay, here goes. On your mark, get set. Wait. You're not even going to say get, set, go? Are you that impatient that you can't say those three more words? Be, noob, noob, slow down. Life is not that much of a waste. You can say three more words before you dash off. Hold it! You two don't seem to have any Pokemon between you? Then what is the meaning of going to the tall grass? Hey, Plenty, this old guy, it's Professor Vaughn, isn't it? What's he doing here? They try to go into the tall grass because they wanted Pokemon. What to do? The Pokemon, their world would surely change if they were to meet Pokemon. Is it right for me to put them on that path? You too. You truly love Pokemon, do you? Yes, I, I love Pokemon. Me too, I love Pokemon too. I will ask you once again. You too, you truly love Pokemon, do you? What? You can ask a hundred times. The answer will never change. We will answer a hundred times we love Pokemon. Right, Platty? Right. A pair of reckless kids who foolishly try to enter tall grass without Pokemon of their own? It worries me what Pokemon, people like that, would do with Pokemon. Uh, well, uh... Well, then forget about me, but give a Pokemon to my friend here. I mean, it was me who tried to go into the tall grass and all. Hmm. How big of you. Well, very well then. I will entrust you two with Pokemon. I apologize for putting you through that exercise. However, you must promise me that you will never recklessly endanger yourselves again. Now then. Now, hmm? Where... Well, well, This is my best attempt at a female voice. It's probably the only person I'm going to give a legit female voice to. I'm not great. Again, cannot manipulate my voice for anything. This is not going to sound feminine at all. I'll give it my best shot. Professor Rowan, you left your briefcase at the lake. Oh, is something wrong here? Ah, there it is. Done. Nice work. What I was about to do was to entrust these two with their own Pokemon. See, the thing is, with how long it takes him to lecture us and how long it takes us to respond to him and everything why did it take her that long to pick up a briefcase and walk over here like she couldn't have been that far behind pardon these pokemon are hard to replace are you sure about giving them away hmm. we exist side by side with pokemon there comes a time when people should meet pokemon there is a world that should be explored together for them, today is that time. The place, right here. Go on, open the briefcase and choose a Pokemon. Really? Professor Rowan! I can't believe it, I'm so happy that I can't keep straight face. You also can't slow down your talking ever, noob. Jeez, why are you always in such a hurry? Hey, Platy, you can choose first. Hey, I'm practically a grown-up. I have to show some class here. 
Yeah, I think you just want me to go first so that you can pick whichever Pokemon is better than mine. I, I'm on to you. Okay, so this is actually going to be the end of the episode. I'm going to show you guys what Pokemon are in here. And I'm going to have a straw poll in the description for you guys to vote which Pokemon you want me to bring with me on my journey. Unfortunately, I already tried to do this, but I actually never started the recording. So I actually know what Pokemon are in here. But I'll try to make it as genuine as I can to what I did the first time. Look, these are Pokemon. There is a Pokemon in each one. Now choose, which Pokemon will it be? The Bat Pokemon Crobat? Oh, damn. Okay. That's pretty good. I, If I was to get this, I would have a Pokemon that's guaranteed to know how to fly. Which, in the very late game, assuming I make it that far and Crobat stays with us that whole time, will be crucial for getting from point A to B as fast as possible and not wasting any time on screen. The seafaring Pokemon, Manaphy. But when I first saw this, I wasn't too impressed. But upon looking at it now... It would be nice to have a Pokemon that guaranteed will know how to use Surf. Because if I have no Pokemon that knows how to Surf in the late game, and no more Pokemon that I can go somewhere and catch, and even if I do, if they happen to not be a type that can learn Surf, I'm kind of stuck in that game and I won't be able to go any farther because I won't have any Pokemon to Surf on. So, be between these two, they're both amazing. I really don't care for Manaphy. I don't... I can't really remember the Pokemon it evolves into. I know what it looks like. I can't remember the name. And it's a good enough Pokemon if I remember correctly. But it's not a great Pokemon. Crobat is a great Pokemon. Manaphy, whatever it evolves into, is not the best. And finally, the Endurance Pokemon Shellgun? What? Yeah, that's literally exactly what I did. I was like caught off guard. I was like, okay, I have two decent Pokemon. One, I have one good Pokemon, one decent Pokemon, and a fucking Salamence opportunity. And that's absolutely amazing. I, whenever I've ever done any of these things, I usually get... My best Pokemon is usually the Crobat Pokemon that I had in here. So when I saw Crobat, I was like, that's a pretty good Pokemon. I'm probably not going to get anything better. Then I saw Manaphy, I was like, yeah, okay, not expecting too much. This is I'm probably going to get either a crappy Pokemon or another Manaphy. I'll probably end up with... Wanting Crobat over everything, and then I saw this and I was like, I've started with one Legendary before, and I've never started with anything nearly as good since. So the fact that I have an opportunity for you guys to pick Salamence, which is Shotgun right here, is absolutely amazing. Again, I'm going to have a straw poll at the very top of the description below, so that you guys can actually pick what Pokemon you guys want me to bring with me on this journey. And... Whatever you guys pick, I will have an episode of Pokemon up every other day. So, today being Sunday, I'll have another one up on Tuesday, then Thursday, then Sunday again. Thursday, no, Saturday, then Monday. So, it's going to be every other day there's going to be a new episode of Pokemon out on my channel. At least this guarantees that I'll have something on my channel going up consistently. Until then, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video again. So many people have played Pokemon in the past, so many people have done these beginning intros that the only new thing I could really offer was my reaction to what Pokemon I got and my personal take on each character, which I really didn't do much differently with than everyone else. The professor sounds like an intelligent, sophisticated man. The assistant, Don in this case, sounds like a nervous, are you sure about that? I'll do whatever you want kind of person. Barry is that hyperactive person. Your mom is intelligent and wise and knows what she's talking about kind of person. Like, there's really not much I can really do with the characters because people are used to that stuff. And if I do try to change it, people are going to be like, this isn't what we're used to. Why are you even making this video? Stick to the status quo. Whatever. But I, I did what I could with what I was offered. The next episode where I can actually get a lot more Pokemon and can start actually doing stuff Hopefully it will be more entertaining. I hope that I didn't scare off any potential new people because of my bad voices. Again, thank you all so much for watching. If you liked it, subscribe. It helps me out a bunch. Like the video, dislike it makes no difference to me. Leave a comment down below suggesting any other game or anything 
on the internet you guys want me to do. I can go on addicting games. Now that I have OBS, there's a whole new world of possibilities. It's not just me being limited to my streams and real life vlogs. I can go, I can go on like Reddit or Tumblr or Twitter and find really stupid, dumb, funny, intelligent, whatever kind of things and react to them. I can go on Steam and play custom zombies. I can go on addictinggames.com. I can go on YouTube and react to videos. There is so much more that I can do on my channel now that I have OBS. So seriously, if there's ever been anything you've wanted me to do and I couldn't because I was limited to my PS4, please suggest it now. I can do so much more with this OBS than I could ever do with my PS4. Also suggest other videos that you might want to see with like a real life vlog where I talk about things going on in the world right now. Or a Q&A where I answer your guys' questions. Maybe a cut come over some gameplay. Whatever the case may be. When I hit 1,000 subs, again, I'm going to be doing a hot pepper challenge. It might be the ghost pepper. It might be something worse. I'm going to be doing something really... Maybe the one chip challenge. That thing where it's like one chip that's super, super hot. And it's made with like the spices of that really the hottest pepper. I could do that with a buddy. We both... We put it in like a bowl of Doritos and whoever gets it. <laughs> Sorry. Whatever you guys want me to do, I'll, I'll do it. Just leave a comment, I'll most likely do it. Don't forget to check out the description below and to, to check out my Discord where I will be talking to you guys whenever I'm not making a video or streaming. If you guys go in there, I will most likely be in there. I will reply to you. If not right away, then eventually. And as always, I will see you guys in the next video, whatever it happens to be. Thank you all so much. I will see you then. Bye-bye. Peace. <laughs>